Hello everybody, it's been some time ago now, but uh, time to talk a bit more in the 78 RPM blog. Um, it's a warm summer day and most people are out on the beaches getting tans. But I was out yesterday and got almost burned, so staying indoors today. Uh, I'm going to show you a um, couple of records that I found a month ago or so, but first, before I do that, I'm going to show you another record that I've had for ages. It's this one. It's called Sprek Up Amigos by uh, comedian uh, Lars O. Monson, or Daddy O. Monson, as he called himself here. Um, he was maybe the Swedish godfather of alternate uh, alternative comedy or even sick comedy and uh, he was one of Sweden's most uh, famous comedians during the 1950s, 1960s and 1970s. Uh, this is a live record from 1977 that I've played many times and I think it's hilarious but so uh, he is one of my favorites. Um, he passed away in 1988, alas. Uh, one thing uh, that... Uh, why why, am, why am, am I talking about it? a comedian uh, not active during the 78 RPM era here? Well, uh, Lasse Monson was also a big fan of old jazz. And uh, when I was um, uh, in a record store some time ago, I found lots of jazz albums. And I'm going to show you some here. Uh, we got Washboards Get Together, the Washboard Rhythm Band, the Washboard Serenaders on, on Regal, uh, the Territory. Bands 1926 to 2029, uh, the Blue Ribbon Syncopators of Buffalo, Eddie Haywood and his Jazz Six, Jesse Stone and his Blue Serenaders, among others, mm. Teddy Hill and his Orchestra, Willie Bryant and his Orchestra, uh, 1936, 1936, uh, six, uh, 1937, Jazz Star Series, Bluebird on the RCA. Label Clarence Williams Rarities on Parlophone, uh, King Oliver New Orleans Shout on RCA Victor, Jazz Star Series number four on RCA Victor with Fletcher Henderson and his orchestra, uh, more Fletcher Henderson in the same series here, Jazz Star Series number 16, RSA Victor. Uh, on Ace of Hearts, it's Smack, Connie's in orchestra di directed by Fletcher Henderson. And well, what's so special about these ones? Uh, apart from them being from the 1960s, early 1970s, and being in exceptionally good shape. Well, did you notice these name tags here, and here, and here, and so on? Well, uh, often you get a bit annoyed when you find these labels uh, uh, pasted here by uh, previous owners. But in this case, I don't know if you can see, focus, focus. Lasse U. Monson. Records that once was owned by Lasse U. Monson and enjoyed by Lasse U. Monson and uh, which I enjoy now. I don't know about you but I think that it's quite cool to find records that once belonged <laughs> to one of your idols. Quite fun.
So, let's see, where did I put it? So, let's enjoy a bit of washboards get together. That's it for now. Bye-bye.